All right, so one of the first jobs I want to do today is kind of a practice hole patching. I've got two or three of these spots on right up on the gunnel here that um, a bit of, there's either a hole or a bit of plywood needs to be replaced. This is the smallest of the lot, so I want to try um, doing a little patch. Um, you can see here that it was repaired before quite, quite badly. Just slap some fiberglass over it, so I'm going to try just replacing filling the hole but also replace it around to about there some kind of a chamfered patch um, we'll see how that goes the reason why I'm starting with this one is because the other ones are massive so we'll do this one see how it goes and then either think of a new plan for the other one or do exactly the same thing going to be the, the size of the patch the plywood six mils so you go one to eight and I'm kind of fearing to it so what I'll do is I'll, I'll come in and I'll use the angle grinder and kind of fear that out and then make a patch that fits straight into that theoretically see with the rings that I've got a pretty nice gradient it's reasonably rough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the belt the disc sander and just make the fit a little bit neater the um, grinder is, is quite rough but it, uh, it does the job <laughs>
and see. So that's that job done. Um, I'm pretty happy with the result. A uh, few things that I would do differently next time, and when, especially when I do a bigger piece, is I'd probably make that um, that kind of tapered bit much bigger. This was an eight to one taper. I'd probably even go 12 or maybe even 16, um, just to give me a lot more a lot more contour. So what what that taper does and I think not besides giving it um, a lot more purchase on for the glue it also lets the taper of the boat um, stay the same so when I do a bigger piece I'm gonna want to have keep that you know the twist of the side of the boat um, also next time I won't be using staples I don't see the point of um, putting more holes in your boat when you're trying to fix a hole so um, next time we'll just be heaps more clamps maybe some tape uh, yeah no I think it worked pretty well um, you can what I've still got to do and I'll do that much later is because I don't have any fairing powder I'll um, fair out these edges a lot more get it so that you can't even see it once it's been painted um, but definitely definitely the way to fix it but the, the, the other way to fix it is putting a, a block kind of making a piece that fits the hole and then putting a block on the back and gluing it through. Um, this is awesome because it, the final kind of product is all just the same thickness, the same weight as the as the original boat, so definitely the way to go. Um, next job there is to, on that bigger one, decide how much is getting taken out, so um, I might do that tomorrow, see how I feel. To, that's enough for today. Um, I might do a little bit of sanding, but it doesn't make for the most thrilling video. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll end this video pretty much here now and pick it up pick up tomorrow when I try to do that a few other of the holes. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess make sure you subscribe if this is your first video. I've got doing these build videos every day now. Um, so subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.